Hello and welcome to my course on Milwaukee Battery Repair. I've been repairing these for a couple of years and I'm going to show you some of the diagnostic and repair techniques I picked up along the way. So if you have a few faulty batteries or just want the greater knowledge of battery technology, specifically Milwaukee in this case, this course is for you. Episode 7, fitting a new circuit board. So if you remember in the last episode, we removed this circuit board from the M18 Milwaukee 4 amp battery we have here because it was flashing light on it and it wouldn't charge or it wouldn't power at all. So we're going to fit this, but before we fit this, we got to do a little bit of prep to the, the battery here. We need the same tools as before from the previous video. However, we'll probably just scruff up these ends with the Dremel and try and make sure there's no residual solder on these taps. So here we go with the Dremel here. Just gonna I'm taking a look at these ends that have to go onto the circuit board here and these little connections. They don't look too bad. There's no big lumps of solder hanging from them that can stop them fitting in. So we're just going to go ahead and fit this. And I'll put a dab of flux on the, uh, the points to start with. Might be easier. Just getting it lined up with all the little connection points. Two there and to another side. Just talk to the guy. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. This one. And this bottom one here. So with all your connections through the board like that there, they're up through. Hold it in position like that. And put in the two T8 screws that you might remember from the last episode. There's a short screw goes on here. Tighten that well down. So it doesn't spring off again and you have to line those up again. There's actually two slots that go on there that click into the top of the battery. Two, um, two holes. These two holes in the bottom of the board. And you put in the long T on here. And tighten that well down. If all's lined up, it should be sitting down nicely. Yeah, like that. And you just have to do the solder now. See that mightn't look too good, but it's actually very strong. I would argue it's probably stronger than the nickel spot welding that they've done initially. But we'll do this one too. That's also very strong. So 
So that's the plus and the minus the connections reattached. And we just got a, you can see it's actually showing three bars already. So we've got to just solder these four points now. One, two, three, four, and they'll be good to go. I'm going to just flux them up again just to make sure that they flux. I'm using flux cord solder for the most part for the bigger stuff, but I use a, this finer stuff for these small little points. It doesn't take much, only a little dab. Doesn't take much to heat and it, and that's it. So, with all the points soldered up, just close it up and put it in the charge. And here goes, going to try this in the charger, see what happens. And it's charging, and like I say, I was throwing, showing three bars, so we'll leave that for a while. That concludes this episode. That's how they fit a circuit board in M18 battery. I'll probably do cell balancing in the next one when the opportunity arises. So tune in for that.